Hey, do you love bluebirds? I do. I think they're great. And I try to encourage as many as I can around my place. Let me show you what I do. I try to put out as many bluebird boxes as I can each year. Timing is very important. So I start cleaning my bluebird boxes in late winter. If you just look inside this one, for instance, not only do we have some bluebirds, we also have a wasp nest. And then I take a brush and I try to brush off any soil and I've added a dilute solution of bleach to one gallon of water. I've got two tablespoons of bleach. And so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of washing down to kill any pathogens. There might be lice eggs, other kinds of insect eggs. It also helps to take care of any bacteria that might be there because of the droppings. So once I have the little bluebird house cleaned up, I'll let it completely dry. Now you need to realize that bluebird boxes, well, bluebirds are very particular about their housing. So they like a particular size, a particular model, and this has a door that hinges. And what you do is you don't have anything in there. They build their own nest and they build their nests from grass and pine straw, pine needles and things like that. Okay, now this is a baffle and I've just cleaned this one up. And what I wanna do is I wanna explain what a baffle is. So why don't we come on out and let me show you how I've placed some bluebird boxes along with the baffles. Let's go. Okay, so here's one I already have set up and you see the baffle in place. And the baffle is just what the name implies. It baffles snakes or raccoons. If they try to climb up the slick pole, they get up caught in here. They can't actually get up into the house of the bluebird. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna place the bluebird box where the back of it is against the prevailing winds. You don't want any drafts on the little babies. And the other thing to keep in mind is that bluebirds are territorial. So if you look way down this fence, I've got another one 100 yards away. Now, the other thing you wanna do is you wanna mount the bluebird nest near some cover, like a tree. So we've got a big pine tree behind this one. And down there, there's a big cedar. And then there's this big bank of woodland behind and they have this open area here for them to gather food and nesting materials for their family. Now if you've enjoyed learning a little bit how to take care of bluebird families, tell a friend about it and make sure you join eHow Home.